The very first time I tried surfing in La Jolla, I got punched in the face by a guy who was pissed off that I got in the way as he was paddling for a wave. I tried explaining to him that I was blind, and he kept coming at me in the water and was just screaming, well then put on your f***ing glasses! I'm like, glasses can cure blindness? Mm, nope, still blind. That was four years ago, and I haven't been that way since, but my coach Brooks wants to take me back. Down to the mystic La Jolla. And honestly, I was a little nervous. Nothing against La Jolla's. We love our La Jolla's, but, you know. So far, they haven't loved me. They don't love me either, honestly. <laughs> Along with being afraid of the people, I was also getting nervous because as we got close to the beach, Brooks was looking at the waves and telling me that they were way bigger than the ones I normally surf. What's the biggest wave out there? I just saw it at, eight, at least an eight or two. Oh my god. But I haven't been scared off by a challenge yet, so we decided to suit up and I started using my other senses to try and sense my surroundings. My other senses are getting stimulated. It smells like poop, but the <laughs> sand is soft. Your what? spider senses are tingling? Yeah, wait, what are the other senses? Oh, hearing, I hear... Touch. Yeah, you already did touch. I don't hear anybody yelling at me yet. That's good. We made our way out. It was really choppy and crazy just getting out there and we hadn't been out there for more than a minute or so when a lifeguard started screaming at us over the bullhorn that we were in the way of some kayakers or something. We couldn't really even hear, but he was pissed. Two minutes in town, we're already getting yelled at. Yeah, that worked out. And as I was hanging on for dear life on some of the craziest waves I'd ever ridden, Brooks told me he'd drop the GoPro in the ocean. That's gonna be very hard to find. So losing a GoPro was bumming me out. I was getting a little freaked out because I'd been separated from Brooks for a really long time as he was looking for the GoPro. And I was kind of getting ready to just call it quits in the day until this kid just showed up behind me. Are you? Yes, I am. Zyler seemed so happy and so excited, I could just hear it in his voice that there was no way I was gonna turn around and go in at that point. And I think this whole experience, especially compared to what happened to me the last time I was in La Jolla, goes to show that what you put out into the world really can have an impact on people, negative or positive. And so I'm super glad that he approached me. It really did change my day, and I was very appreciative that he watched the videos.